So we've covered everything on the info section at the top here now. So we're going to have a little skip along, miss out posts for a minute. And I'm going to have a look at the material section now. So if we select that option, you'll see that these are all the different types of files that you can add to your iTunes U course. So you can put audio files, videos, books, documents. You can link to apps, images, and also web links. And all of these will be shared inside the iTunes U app for your students to access. So if you want to add those materials, if we select Add Material in the bottom left-hand corner, then these are our th three main options here. Add from my computer, enter an iTunes store link, and enter a web link. Now, I'm just going to concentrate on Add from my computer for now. So if I add from my computer, this is then going to bring up all the files on my computer for me to choose the one that I want to upload. I'm just going to have a quick search through here, and I want uh, this one. So I'm going to choose that. And then we should see that these little lines here tell me that it's uploading. And there it is. It's been uploaded to the course. So once it's here in your materials, you'll be able to link it to one of the posts that you're about to make in a minute. So the students will be able to access it. And this is all saved on the Apple servers, so it's not taking up any space for your students. It is also possible to edit the information and the names of the files from within iTunes U Course Manager. If you select the I, then edit, then you can change the names to whatever it is you want. And you can save that, and that changes that for you.